So this is part two of 10 facts about my life. Again, I have a script, so if I'm looking, I'm sorry that I'm looking down and up. I just want to make sure I've included everything that I wanted to say. So number six is that I've been learning Spanish. So, so during lockdown, one of the girls at work and I decided we were going to learn Spanish. I decided to, to join her because gave us something to do and we were actually able to be able to speak it to each other. So we both downloaded an app on our phones, Duolingo, and we started learning. Um, I also did a 10 week course, 10 week online course through Sydney Uni, um, where we were able to speak to people and do, we had homework and things to do. I, my Spanish is still not fantastic. I can actually read it better than what I can speak it at this point. I've also started, I've joined a few Facebook groups to learn Spanish and just recently there's some people at an English learning school over in Spain that wanted some English, English speaking people who are learning Spanish to write letters to each other so they would write to me in English, I would write to them in Spanish and we'd tell each other, we had a topic for four weeks, so we'd each write about that topic, and then we would correct each other's grammar and things like that, things like that. It's actually been really, really interesting. I've actually really enjoyed it, and I'm actually picking up a little bit more Spanish, so we'll see how we go with that. So number seven is I really love musicals. So my love of musicals started when I was in high school. The first musical I ever saw was Pirates of Penzance and Phantom of the Opera. And yes, I was in the school band and I played the clarinet, so that's how I got to go and see them. This was, so this was the start of my love. Um, my two favourite musicals are Wicked and Phantom of the Opera. So Phantom of the Opera I've seen about three times, most recently in Sydney with my parents, which I have a video up on my channel in regards to that. I've seen Wicked twice, once in Melbourne, once in Sydney, and I loved them both. I've also been to many other musicals, Jesus Christ Superstar, Wicked, Hairspray, and Phantom of the Opera, and Mary Poppins. Number eight is I have blog. So I actually really like to write. As I suffer from anxiety and depression, I actually find it very therapeutic to be able to write things down, get them out there, leave my feelings on the screen or the paper. And as I said here, I find it very therapeutic. I enjoy sharing parts of my life. Um, and as I said, it gets it out there, gets it out of my brain. And so I stop feeling anxious. I usually post blogs on stuff that's happened in my life and just my general day-to-day -day life. I've got a two-day course coming up on creative writing and blogging at the local community college, which I hope will help. I also do like journaling, um, which I guess is the same thing as blogging, but yeah, I just find it very, very helpful to get my thoughts on paper. Number nine is that I can crochet. So when I was a little girl, my grandma actually taught me how to crochet. It was very simple and it sparked my love. And about five years ago, my sister got me back into it. We went and did a course at a local shop in Sydney City called the Granny Square. And we learned how to make granny squares. As I said, I'm great and I can pretty well make granny squares. I've even made a few toys for Nala. I've also made a few blankets for some of the girls from work when they've had babies. I have really found it really relaxing and enjoying. So on a recent trip to Tasmania, I actually found some really nice hooks at a shop called Art Viva. The hooks are made from Tasmanian oak and finished with natural organic oils. They're really, really beautiful hooks to work with and I will put a link to their website and the Granny Squares website as well in the description below if you wanted to check any of them out. So number 10 and the final thing about my life is that netball is my favourite. I started playing netball when I was eight and have always played defence, so either goalkeeper or goal defence. So I basically played from when I was eight till I was about 21 years old. So, and when I was 21, that was my last regular season of outdoor netball and I lived in Goulburn at the time, so joined one of the teams down there. We had it, we all got on very well. So when the outdoor season finished, we decided we were going to go and play some indoor netball, which I'd never played before. So it was five aside. 
So there was basically no wing positions and it's the same size as an outdoor court. So as I said, I played with the girls that I played outdoor with and we had absolutely great fun. So when I moved back to Sydney, I found another indoor team, which was actually a six a side indoor team. So it wasn't as fast as the five a side, but still quite fast. So there was basically no wing attack position. Um, I played a few rounds, but then shift work got in the way, so I was unable to play anymore. So when I was on, my, on a recent trip to Melbourne, I actually went to see a live netball game between the Adelaide Thunderbirds and the Melbourne Vixens. It was a really, really fun night, had a great time, and the Vixens won. The atmosphere was great, and as I said, had an absolute ball. Hopefully someday I'll actually be able to get in back into netball, but we'll see how we go. So thanks guys for watching this 10 facts about my life series. Again, sorry for looking down um, at my script. As I said, I just wanted to remember everything that I, that I have wanted to say. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in my next video. And as a final note, I've actually included some photos at the end of the video here of myself when I was younger playing netball. I think I would have been maybe about 10 years old. I was mainly the goal defense position. And I've also included some extra photos of my crocheting, especially with Nala really liking and lying on my crochet blankets. So I've, as I said, I hope you enjoyed the videos and just don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.